I see there he has craft those young men and women and they sing very well. So having upon again. <laughs> Dr. Pono, then we, we, we have a, a replica. We will try to to give them that that encouragement so, so that they, they can sing in front of people for people. So today I just allow the 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 one lady to, to speak and then I will invite Dr. Dr. Mwangi, and then we, you know, this is a youth work. So I'll give it to you. Thank you so much. Praise God. Good morning. Can you wave at me? Put a smile on your face. Yeah, I'm so happy this wonderful morning. I really thank God for this opportunity that He has allowed us to start with. And I'm really, really, really grateful. This thing was in my heart and it really, really disturbed me. And I'm very grateful that today it is coming to pass. Um, I'm not feeling like we'll be singing in churches only, just the way uh, they have said. We'll be singing in many places, not just the, the show, even in other places that we will be called to sing, we will sing. And I'm really praying that uh, we will, we will uh, we will copy the senior choir. I really, really admire the senior choir because of, because of their unity. They are really united. They are so committed. Those two stand out for me, and I'm really grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Would you like to come and line up here? Let's clap the music. Where did Miles go? You're <laughs> <laughs> not part of them. Yeah, you are part. You are challenged. Just one one. How did you get it through? Um, please don't. Please don't once again. Um, I'm I'm happy as everyone says they're happy, and I'm particularly happy because. Um, as, as is my tradition, I think I've formed a culture of um, seeing into something that I do not even understand. And so I know somebody the chairman spoke to me and told me your face, told me a lot of things about myself. <laughs> and I told you, don't worry. You don't worry. Um, and so I introduced this idea at first to somebody I thought would understand this better, Cromwell. We met Cromwell, uh, we met the Bolivars together with Cromwell, and then we went back to the youth committee and we sat down and we discussed this, and we still was not working through. So we continued, um, and somewhere along the line, God um, ministered through Rosalind because at that point it was Rosalind who came. I did not come. In fact, I didn't even know she would interact with me uh, on that ground because we interacted. About a million other girls apart from that. So she told me, I was just parking my car here, and she just told me, I feel like we should have a youth choir. What she did not understand is that at the back of my mind, I'm, I'm seeing that which um, I just feel pressure on 
how will this work through? So she told me, and I listened to her and learned what for the patients that he was talking. So I listened to and I listened to, and then I went home and I didn't tell her that that is what you've been praying for. So I told her, get at him. If you can get at him, we're going to support you with all that I know God has given us. And so we been started off and I um, came back to the leadership of the youth. We discussed and we said, let's, let's give her time. She was working through the team. And I think around the world, she approached me again um, while I was at work. And she told me, uh, we have a team and uh, we want to launch this team so that um, we can begin this journey. And I told her, even though it is work, I can bend a little bit. And so I gave a call to the believers. Uh, I must admit, I don't know much about choir. And all those people who are giving me invitations. I am here, I am here to support you, just like I have been. Uh, but when it comes to the singing, God will give me God. <laughs> yeah, so the Godivans shaped the way for us. And here we are today. Yes? Um, this team has been discussing, uh, uh, um, that is, in the course of this week, they've been trying to settle for a team. They have several verses, they have um, several suggestions that they have. Uh, Rosalina has discussed that with me. I told her again, when it comes to why I will support you. So I've forwarded those verses to the Godivans. I'm forwarding them to you, Dr. Moses Mwangi, and to the teachers that I've seen in the academy with the leadership. Please support them in getting a team. And even moving forward, support them in just how to organize themselves as a team. Thank you. Zimbabwe, <laughs> Uh, I see the consilers has come. I requested the choir leader just move forward the door. Zimbabwe, because I'll be requesting the Kalai, yes, because I'll be requesting the deacons who are here to start behind you. I've seen the uh, uh, deacon uh, Silas has come. Where are you? Oh, yes. Uh, of course, before before we pray, you are the deacon in charge of the youth. <coughs> and uh, you will also get your time. This. Uh, but before then, I want to ask Rea. Is Rea? Come, come, come. Is Rea? Just to tell them when you start singing. You know, some of these people are older than you. Eh? So then the silence will happen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm so excited to be here. It's been long since I was in this service. And uh, it's because of a normal course that we are here this morning. I'm so excited. Uh, I don't know where to start, but uh, I started singing when I was small. I was actually in Sunday school, and uh, I was in the Anglican church. And we used to do the festivals, those who may have a crew. We used to have festivals in Sunday school. We start from the local church and we go up to the diocese. When I grew up and became a youth, I became a youth a youth in the choir. Those days in Africa, we used to call it Kyle. Dr. Moses and I do Kyle. And so you can imagine I'm a youth and I used to sing. And I used to admire the way our trainers used to read music. You know, the, the notes, the crochet, and all that, and the interpreting. And I used to like the conducting. You know, the doing of this and, and all that. I used to admire. I was wondering. What are these people doing? How are they interpreting this into music and into tunes? So I developed some interest and a great interest. So I decided to take my, myself to school to learn how do you interpret these notes to some tunes and all that. And besides my main career, I have another. <laughs> Yes, I started singing when I was young, so I am expecting you to come as I talk. Yes, please come as I talk. Yes, I started singing when I was small. And uh, I developed that interest. I went to school besides my main career. I trained as a, as a musician. I trained a choral music. We call it choral music is where we have the bass, the tenor, the soprano, and the... And talk, yes, and this is what we want from here. 
right now they look few. You may look here and not see a tenner, a base of what. But we did not take what this base. You have seen a choir that we call a duet for two, two voices. We have a trio for three voices. We have a quote, a quote for four people. So this is a choir. This is a choir. I can't see more coming. I'm looking at some of the <laughs> Yes, so that we launch this choir, and I know they'll be singing well. I have been trained by Teacher Okondo, and I know he's a very good trainer. So watch this space and join the choir. Thank you very much. Please, Amen. I personally say that I'm really proud of you guys and that step. Just like she said, I always felt choir has been one of my favorite groups in the church because I have seen how committed they are, how together they are, how they are now. I saw them in 2010 when I joined the church. And they are still those same faces with some new faces coming in. That kind of unity really encourages me. That kind of unity is the unity that Christ has called us to. And so always when I am there, in the choir, sing. I, I feel very much encouraged. And so I thought we, we lack this in our youth church. And I don't, I'm not musical in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> but uh, I decided let me just pray about it. And when the idea came from them, <laughs> I was very much encouraged. What I would like to say is that you have the full support of the youth ministry in whatever you want. We will support you, we will make sure that. Uh, you are supported, you are funded, we will make sure that <laughs> <laughs> we'll make sure that you have, you have everything you need to serve God in this capacity. I will encourage others to join. Please let's join. When when the choir is going to present or when we have that Sunday, the carols and all this, it will be so nice to see a united church singing for Christ. I am so encouraged. I pray that this fire keeps on burning. And then remember consistency. Please be consistent. Those small steps. Don't stop. What you start to do, make sure you do it without ever stopping. And that is how you become better and better. And may God bless you. Amen. Thank you very much. We now start all of us. Uh, we start with uh, the fruits. Who are here, you can, you can, you can start that side. You see where you can start this side, or Tamara can start behind. In a way, surrounding uh, this team. I would like you to stretch uh, your heart from wherever you are. Uh, uh, we thank you, Lord, for the things that you have done. We thank you, Lord. For the things that you are doing, we thank you, Lord. For the things that you will do, oh Lord, we thank you now. Oh Lord, we thank you. The youth choir does hold hearts, does hold hearts, hold hearts together. Even as we do this and the, and the leadership of the choir behind all hearts together, uh, the deacons will lift it up and all of us. Lord, we want to thank you for these young men and young women who are before us, desire us to serve you in the ministry of the choir. We want to thank you because they have Come forward willingly, and we know God that uh, you are the one who does the calling, and we do the responding. They have responded to the call to serve you in this church, in this youthful church, Lord, and even beyond, to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ through music. Father, 
I know we will look back one year down the line, two years, five years, and it shall be wonderful. We commend them to you. We specifically pray uh, that you anoint their voices, that these voices will be wonderful before you. Lord, we pray that uh, you disentangle them from things that will hold them from the practice times, that they will be able to meet and practice. Lord, we pray that you will surround them with your presence, and that every time they start to present a song, that God will anoint their voices for that ministry. So we, uh, we remember, Lord, when Paul and uh, Silas were in that church in Antioch and they were set apart for the work that you had called them to do. They set out on a mission and many people got to hear your word and to respond. Father, we set this apart and pray for others who will come after them. We also set them apart that they will join this team and it shall be glorious. So we do this. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate the Lord. Look at the people who are visiting as you may be seated. Yes, go for it. Thank you. And the Lord. What's it? Look at this guy. Where is Mr. Misiko? Come, come in front here. Come in front here. Okay, this is after we shall be we shall we shall be having a uh, uh, a fellowship in the afternoon with the with this with this team. So we shall be having a uh, a swallowship. We'll have lunch with them, discuss more with them. So those who want to join, you can join us during our that time and we we discuss more. Now because the choir did not sing, someone will represent them. And may I request, because time has gone, who was the service leader? Is it okay that as she sings, we, we do the offering? We can do that. Who wants to pray for it? Come and pray for it. So that as, uh, as uh, uh, Lucy.